here with another really cool invention. Now you all seen the 5 milliwatt lasers on eBay selling for $9.95 and $10 and $12. Well, I picked myself up one for only $9.95. Well, what I've done here is took a regular 5 milliwatt purple laser. It's the 405NM 5 milliwatt Blu-ray laser. I will show you, it's just a regular laser pointer. But what I've done was taken the original casing off, as you see right here, it's the original case, and replaced and kind of modified my own little battery pack. Now, inside of the, the original case, there is two AAA batteries. But what I've done is taken an old laser pointer that I've destroyed, and I cut right there and up off. And inside is a screw that touches the terminal. And then I have wires going to it. Um, and three batteries here, which produce somewhere around almost three and a half to four volts. Whereas the original housing with only two batteries in there produced somewhere around two and a half to almost three volts. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to increase the power a little bit. It's going to allow it to run a little bit hotter and longer. And I also did what is called a pot modification. Um, I, with the laser I had, it was really hard to, to do that. But I, I can't really open it right now because I put tape over it. But I drilled a hole in the bottom of the laser pointer, which allowed me access to the potentiometer. Now, when doing this, what you're doing, you're increasing the power on the laser. Well, when you increase the power, you obviously are going to diminish the lifetime of the laser. So do this at your own risk. Now, what I have set up here in front of us is a magnifying lens over here, which is a telephoto lens in front. And both of them are filters that go in front of a 35 millimeter camera. Uh, I have an ordinary book of matches, as you can see, just a regular set of matches, and there's nothing else laid out here. I have a cell phone over here that's propping up the laser so I can have uh, a nice clear shot. See, a nice clear shot. And if you see, you can see the pinpoint. If we sit here long enough, it would probably burn a hole through this paper, but that's not what we're wanting to do. We're going to try to light this match, and we're going to see how long it takes to light the match. Now remember, this is just a 5 milliwatt laser, and the only modification I've done was just turn up the power, which probably turned it up to maybe 7, 8, or 10 milliwatts, if that. Um, there is a modification that you can do that will allow you to get more power, like 50 milliwatts to 100 milliwatts, out of the original 5 milliwatt laser. In order to do this, um, it asks you to unsolder or melt a component inside the laser. We didn't go that far. We didn't want to do it. All we did was just turn up the little potentiometer so we get a little bit more power out and added a separate battery pack. Now, let's try this. Um, in order to do this, we're going to have to make sure we get a good focal point. Um, and, and what these, um, these lenses do is if you see, as I bring it away, the focal point is probably about somewhere about like right there. So. We're going to try to go ahead and light this match and see how long it will take and if we can do it with the new battery pack. And there you go. A laser burning a match.